you've been this uh, superstar as far as an actor is concerned that you've been a producer uh, where is it that we can see you as as a director now <laughs> i look forward to your interview saizul because you're one person who asks the most unexpected uh, questions but if that ever happens i'll know that you know you were the first person to ask me that intimacy portion i think they've shown beautifully but uh, do you think that there's much more to the film yes it is an important thread in the film but it's not the only piece in this film in your filmography where will you rank um, dubey as a song in your career it's the kind of song that i i guess i'll have to be performing to at the next couple of award shows let's put it that way beautiful article today about how people should watch dipika padukone's gehraiya because of the way mental health has been depicted in this film i don't think we ever imagined that it would be received like that dipika welcome back on bollywood hangama thank you congratulations for gehraiya but my first question to you is that uh, You've been this uh, superstar as far as an actor is concerned. That uh, you've been a producer. Uh, where is it that we can see you as as a director now? Abhi ab headspace headspace ki baat kare to mujhe dhyan mein aaya. You know, I uh, I I look forward to your interview, Saizul, because you're one person who asks the most unexpected uh, questions. Um, but I mean, on a serious note, I never thought. Five years ago, if you asked me if I was going to be a producer, I don't think I'd have an answer to your question. So, I think similarly, as we speak today, there's no, uh, there's not an iota of that thought in my mind at all. Uh, but if that ever happens, I'll know that you know you were the first person to ask me that. Because you know, the, the moment you 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 mention about that headspace part, and we've seen you during the interviews as well that uh, the way you've been navigating. all the all the youngsters uh, that what not to say navigating thank you thank you for uh, using the the a, a nicer politer word all right so uh, dipika one thing that that i that i really noticed while watching gehraiya was that this film must have been very special for you because um, it deals with the the mental health issues in the most sensitive manner yes absolutely um you know and to be honest a lot of the things that are being picked up by the audience after watching the film they were not meant to be so much of a talking point but i think what is interesting is that that they've become that organically that people are picking up on these things now are these things that we were conscientious of when we were making this movie of course um but did we think that for example there's this beautiful article today about how people should watch dipika padukone gehraiya because of the way mental health has been depicted in this film i don't think we ever imagined that it would be received like that now having had a lived experience with mental illness was i conscious of how it was being portrayed yes but it's not like the film is about that you know that's one of the one of the threads or in fact it's not even a thread it is actually a back story uh or something that this character is dealing with but there's so much else that's going on that we were focusing on and subconsciously making sure that you know whether it's alisha's anxiety or the pills that she takes just in the little bit that we do we should make sure that we do it correctly but what has come out of it has just been extremely uh unexpected in the most beautiful way so um I'm glad I'm glad that we had that eye for detail or we had that attention for detail but I'm also glad that the audience is now picking up on these things one thing that is that is very notable about the film and I'm I'm so glad that um, I think Shakun has gone all all out as far as that thing is concerned that you know there is no oversimplification of how the narrative should be how the story should be told uh the language is the way uh, a lot of people uh this they speak in the metropolitan cities and and that number is massive mm-hmm. uh this entire notion that many a times this is this is just uh, thrown at i think all of us be it the media be it the, the filmmakers be it the actors that this is what the public wants mm-hmm. and no one really knows that what 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 people want 
and now with gehraiya you guys have not only discovered a massive audience within india but also outside the shores of india which is which is which is beautiful in a way absolutely i mean i think that at least with uh, with shakun and i i think the endeavor really was to just tell the most honest narrative and the most honest story with a sense of newness and freshness and and challenging the status quo a little bit like we always say but that it would be embraced like this or received like this or uh celebrated like this and like you rightly mentioned not just in india but globally um that was completely unexpected i don't think we expected this at all and yes from the time the first teaser came out sometime in november or december if i'm not mistaken since then the momentum kept building kept building and you know there was so much chatter about this movie and the trailer and the music and then the intimacy and then the infidelity and then oh my god the girls are, are cousins and you know there was just so much that was unraveling um and then you have this release and then the the kind of conversations that people are having today the kind of doors that it has opened for people um it's just beyond but it's it's also just incredible it was absolutely unexpected all right and uh, i think uh, the, the intim- intimacy portions i think they've been sh- shown be- beautifully but uh, do you think that uh, there's there's much more to the film than the physical intimacy because i think in any relationship that's just one part of it maybe an important part of it but there's much much more to to a relationship why a person uh, draws closer t- to someone else maybe there's boredom there's loneliness uh there's something that is not really connecting with, with, between two people yes of course i mean i think that um specific to this film also and then also to relationships in general you realize that you know even with this film the the intimacy was such a such a big talking point uh initially and then we kept saying that yes it is an important thread in the film but it's not the only piece in this film and i guess now when people are watching it they're agreeing and and seeing what we were trying to say that there's just there's so much more to uh to this film than just the intimacy um uh, there's childhood trauma there is mental illness there is the relationship between uh parent and child uh childhood trauma all of these things relationships between uh between people and friends and and relatives and how that changes and how that evolves over a period of time so i think the takeaway at the end of the film today is so much more after people have seen the film um and speaking of infidelity in relationships yes of course i think the i think the the film sort of touches upon that as well that it's not just physical attraction you know there are different circumstances that um lead people to do what they do and sure we may not always personally and necessarily agree with those choices but um there is a reason why people do what they do and i think the point of the film at some level again not the not the whole point but part of the point that we're trying to make is if we can be more uh empathetic and more understanding and less judgmental about the choices that people make all right so um in kapoor and sons uh, there was this beautiful i think character of rishi ji and uh, now we see uh, what shakun has done with, with nasir sir i think there is an old soul in, in shakun batra hum log oh yes very much we take hum unko halke mein lete hain unko the way he looks and all that but i think Uh, he has i think a lot of understanding and empathy towards uh, the older character but i think uh, especially the bonding between you and and nasir sahab's character is, is simply incredible and then nasir sahab is a is a legend anyways and uh, you know it comes as a surprise this relationship comes as a surprise and people in many people they have taken that that back home with them yes yes how special was was this particular aspect again even that completely unexpected you know um it's been touted as one of the most iconic scenes that people have seen in recent times or you know the 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 scene that people are walking away with or the one scene that that's really staying with people again we didn't set out to make that film uh, to make that scene with that intention it was just true to those characters in that moment 
and i think all nasir sir and i could do was to be truthful and honest in that moment um but yeah and you can never really tell what it is in a scene or in a performance that the audience is drawn to or what is it that they connect with but that seems to be an extremely special scene and an, an extremely special moment um and i'm glad because you know it's such a beautiful moment where she says i don't have the strength and sometimes you really do you're so broken that even if you want to even if your heart and mind wants to sometimes you just feel like you don't have the the physical strength or the emotional strength to go on and there you have your father sitting next to you and saying it's right here beta you know and just that much says so much about a parent and child relationship and it means so much more when you think that that relationship with your father that you had was broken but then you discover that you had misunderstood him all along uh it's just fascinating and incredible in your filmography where will you rank um, dubey as as a song in your career i mean it's the kind of song that i i guess i'll have to be performing to at the next couple of award shows let's put it that way uh but more than dube actually um, bekabu is the song that is playing on loop right now uh so yes i was obsessed with dube when it came out but for me bekabu is my most favorite song not just because not just in our album and not just because it's a part of our film but it's so fresh sounding um you know and it's a joke like when we started off with this film we we were begging shakun and we said shakun give us at least one song that's a hit you know do whatever we'll shoot a music video if we have to but you know this film is already so different for an indian audience let's at least make sure that we have one song something that will just you know give it that push and i think he's surprised all of us he's not given us one song he's given us an entire album uh which hasn't happened in indian films for a long long time um where an entire album is being celebrated uh so you have dube you have uh bekabu then you have uh gehraiya then you have the mohit chauhan version of gehraiya so you have like four or five tracks uh in an album and that hasn't happened i can't remember the last time that happened 